Welcome to the final video in this series on HTML and CSS. Uh, on this particular video, what I'm going to talk about actually has very little impact on HTML and CSS. As you've seen in all of the uh, 15 videos so far, I can create a web page in HTML uh, connected to a CSS document and run that in a browser. Standard server script languages, they run on the, uh, on the computer servers up on the web. You're going to make your machine ready to run more advanced languages. That will allow you to create web pages that can do anything you want them to do. There are a multitude of ways of turning your computer into a web server. Please be aware that you don't do this to start to have a web server to have your uh, site up on the web. That's going to be covered on a much later video. That's not what this is about. This is for building new websites using more advanced tools so that's what we're going to go through and there are a whole multitude of ways of doing with so but I'm going to take you through the one that I recommend which is using this system called XAMP now XAMP is really easy to search for all you do is you do a search for XAMP there just XAMP look, look, look for the Apache friend's name click on that you'll be taken to this site this is the home page, simply go down, you've got Linux, Windows, Mac, Solaris, all I recommend, uh, you choose the right one, I'm going to go to Windows, but choose the right model, when you're there, you'll be taken to the relevant download page. Now, XAMP will install an Apache server, a MySQL server, a PHP server, PHP MyAdmin that works with MySQL, including the control panel. If you're sitting there thinking, well, what are these? It doesn't matter. You don't need to worry about them at the moment. All you need to know is that to run My, uh, MySQL and PHP, you need those three at the very least. You can install them yourself, but XAMP does it all for you, and it saves you a lot of headaches, believe me. Very simple to download. You come down to the bottom of the page, and you'll find hundreds, no, well, lots, not hundreds, but you'll find lots of links but simply you want the very first one. You'll then be offered three types 7-zip, installer and zip. I seriously recommend taking the zip, not the installer, but downloading the zip file and I'll explain why in a moment. Okay, downloaded it myself previously, there it is and all I would do is right click, extract tool and then it will create a folder in which inside that folder is another one called XAMP and it will look just like that. If you go into that, there's lots of files, just check the same ones and you've got the right folder. Now what I want to draw your attention to here is that I'm running this actually on a memory stick, a Kingston memory stick. It's an additional drive. Um, it doesn't have to be Kingston, any memory stick of quite, and it doesn't have to be very large. This folder is only 500 meg maximum, but your websites might become quite big. So a gig stick, a 4 gig, a 10 a gig, 20 gig, whatever you can get your hands on, put XAM, put that folder into there. That allows you now to take that memory stick out, and wherever that memory stick is, you can stick it into a machine, run XAM, and you've got a web server. On that memory stick will be all your websites and therefore you can work on your website on any computer that you can locate. So if you've got a laptop, you can go to laptop to work, work, work on it, round of friends, whatever you want. Do remember to back up your memory stick, too easy to lose, they only last a short while. Uh, you don't want to really find out you've lost all your websites. So how do I run XAMP? Well, it's really easy. Go into the XAMP folder. And you scroll right to the end. Now you will have an XAMP control if you've downloaded the latest version. I've actually got two, I've also got one called 3 Beta. The only reason why I'm going to run the 3 Beta is because you probably, if you've downloaded the latest one, the 3 Beta is the XAMP control. So you may click on that, you'll do exactly what I'm going to do. It is the same program, and I'm only going to use this so it looks the same as the one you're running. So I'm going to right click on there, which is important because I'm going to run as administrator. If you get a message like that, say yes. And you've got this. 
there's Apache, there's MySQL. They're the two we're interested in. PHP will run naturally as part of Apache and MySQL. So all we've got to do with the Apache server is click Start. If you get any messages asking for authorization, say this is what we're looking for. We're not that necessarily interested in the PID and the ports. These have got to be there. It should be green or stable. Port 80 is the standard port for the internet. I then, once I've got the ports, I can then click on Start for my SQL, and I'm looking for the same thing. And you can see that I've now got a port. It's green. It's stable. That's all I need with the control panel. I can actually close it. It's still running down here on my taskbar. That's fine. The patch is still running. I don't need this now. I can minimize. And I don't need that. Now, this page is here deliberately for a reason. Can you see I've typed in like local host at the top and I've got an error message? That's because I had no web server on this computer. But I've now run Apache and I've now got running MySQL. We saw that on the program down here. We can see that they're both running. They weren't previously. So if I reload this, I should see this message. That's telling me XAMPP is working. You may have one that asks you for a language. Choose a language you'll be taken to this page or one very similar to this page. That tells you that XAMPP is working. Then that you can do the following. If you remember in that folder you have all these folders. Most you can ignore. But this one is called htdocs. If you go into there, there are a lot. This is where you will build your website. So if I wanted to build one, I wanted to call this uh, duck. I simply type in duck, build my website inside of here, and I could run it from there. I'll just show you new. I'm going to need to do it simply through Notepad. I'm not going to put the doc type simply because I just want to get this working quite quickly. Um, file, save as. So on the root of, uh, of my my memory stick, exam ht docs duck. Change this to all files and then call this index.html. Save. There it is. If I now go to here under local host, I simply have local host and instead of exam, I think, and there it is. Show you another example. So there's the HT docs. There's my websites. Just to show you, but I actually also run that on my local machine. And there's some of the websites that I've been working on which are running. When you've finished, simply close everything down, open the control panel. Click on stop for MySQL first. Click on stop for the Apache server. Close that down. Right click, quit. Now you can disable the memory stick, remove it from your computer, and you can do the same thing on any other machine. And that's your test web server on a single memory stick. Easy to use, really, really simple. Hope that's been helpful. Um, maybe I'll see you in the PHP series.